And speaking of cooking, whether you're a seasoned cook or this is your first time hosting, there are some very important reminders for your kitchen this Thanksgiving. Joining us in studio with Insight is Michelle Corson with the Kern County Public Hi. Health Department. Thank you for coming in here. Happy Thanksgiving. Absolutely. And I hear that you have a little quiz for me today. I do. I'm are a little you? nervous. I know. And, and I want the audience, the viewers, to play along. Okay. So we're going to start with this one. It's okay. a good one. Okay. What is the best way to thaw your turkey? I'll give you four choices. Oh, I see. Just leave it on the counter. Okay. Put it in the refrigerator. Let it sit out in a pot of water or pour hot water over it. I'm going to go with put it in water in the bowl. What was it the bowl? Mm. Oh, I was now, if it the was sink. if it was not? if it yeah, so the best is the refrigerator. Okay. However, you can put it in cold submerged water okay um that is possible but a pot of water out on the counter not gonna work that's okay. not the safest okay you were close sorry okay. i should have been nicer than okay. eh. no i like it okay <laughs> <laughs> do we have time for another yes absolutely. okay how do you tell that a turkey is done and cooked safely a it will turn brown b mom told you it would take 20 minutes <laughs> per pound C, when your meat thermometer says it's 165 degrees Fahrenheit. D, when it smells done. Okay, so my mom is watching right now, so I'm going to say my mom, but I know that's not right. It's 165. Yes. But my mom always knows best and tells me to use the of meat thermometer. Of course moms know best, yeah. but that meat thermometer is really important, and it's got to be at that 165 temp. Okay. Really, really critical. Okay. Time for any more? Yes, let's do one more. Okay. Why should you keep raw meats and meat products separate from fruits and veggies when cutting them up and preparing them? A, putting them together is confusing. B, the veggies will make your meat taste weird. <laughs> C, raw meat and meat products can carry bacteria that can contaminate the fruits and veggies and make you sick. D, they don't get along together. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say they make you sick, but my kids would probably say they don't get along. <laughs> I know, and I think both can be true, right? Yeah. No, they get along if they're cooked and kept separate, but de definitely keep them separate. In fact, cross-contamination, we call it, is one of the most common reasons we get foodborne illness oh. and sick. So it's critically important to keep those things separate, and if you use a cutting board to wash, uh, or excuse me, to cut your meats, wash it thoroughly before you ever were to cut veggies or fruit on it. Oh, good tip. So, yeah, yeah. Great really tips. important. Perfect. Great. Thank you so much for joining us and Thank for you. teaching us a little bit about you food safety. You are a great sport. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> anytime. Anytime. All right. We'll be right back.